Love is a profound mystery where two souls that were separated can set out on an incredible journey where in an instant, in a miracle, the two become one. Marriage is the greatest of contracts, the sweetest of promises, to keep each other afloat during life's storms, to keep each other laughing amidst the sorrow and faithful amidst the darkness, to rejoice together in the morning and to honor each other in the evening. Marriage is the gift from God who is the source of this love and He is the one who will carry and guide you in the days ahead. She, uh, she called me one day and she said, can I bring him out to Oxford? And I was like, oh, okay. So she brought Andy out and I, I was like, this guy's so awesome. I never thought that there would be somebody so perfect for you. Um, t individually, they are amazing people, but I think together you guys are a force. So if I have like three things to kind of sum it up, I would say never go to bed angry. I think that's so true. Um, you can't ever say I love you too much. And when all else fails, you can just get her some Mexican food and she'll be fine. So <laughs> there you go. Cheers. I love you both. And here's to the rest of your life. I love you. Them together, one, she's a wild child, and with Andy, he just allows her to be herself, and there's not one moment where, you know, she's ever unfiltered, or, or she's always unfiltered, and she's always, you know, herself, and with Andy, they just match together. He's so patient and kind with her, and and truly loves her as as herself, as Ashley. You know, I think it's they're, they're always the life of the party, and that's just the way they go about life itself. You know, there's nothing that neither of them do without doing it 100%. They always put everything um, that they have into whatever they're doing. Ashley is the most genuine, kindest person I've probably ever met. Um, a lot of people know her as the fun scopal, the party scopal, and she's a good time, but getting to know her as a person and getting to know her heart has just been the greatest experience. Um, she is so kind as well. She'll do anything for anyone. She likes helping strangers. She likes helping her friends and family, so she's crazy, but she's also like a really good person and has a really good heart. She's feisty. She, uh, <laughs> you don't want to cross Ashley <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a bad way, um, but she's a lover as well, and um, I think they really even each other out real well. You know, I love her for Andy, and I think that, that you know, she pairs well with them, and, you know, they bring out the best in each other. Off the top of the head, just a jokester, someone who's just really goofy, but also probably one of the most genuine guys that I know, honestly. Very kind, very kind-hearted. Me and my older brother, he's the youngest, we're both pretty introverted, and we, we're reserved, we kind of stay to ourselves. Andy's the <laughs> polar opposite of that. When he goes into a room, just people follow. He's a natural leader. People look up to him. People, you know, jokingly in, in high school, we'd go to a game across town and he knew everybody there. I love y'all. I 
mean, all of y'all are brothers to me, and two of y'all actually are, but seriously, <laughs> like, can't wait for this moment to share with all of you guys and uh, the rest of our lives together is being actually married, so. Woo! I will walk this world, will walk this world. I will walk this world, will walk this world with you. She's one of the most selfless people I know. Uh, she's always put a me before herself, which sometimes I wish I wish she didn't, um, but. I mean, she loves her friends, her family should do absolutely anything for anyone. He's like, everything that I couldn't be. <laughs> um, compassionate, kind, caring, <laughs> great listener, everything. <laughs> His good sense of humor, compassion, uh, willing to help anybody. I don't know. <laughs> He's an all around good person. Ashley. Words can't describe how much I love you. I hope that I show it in my daily actions. I just can't wait to grow old with you. This is something I've wanted for a few years now and I'm so happy it's finally happening. Everyone keeps asking me if I'm nervous and if I've got the, the shakes or I'm anxious or anything, and I'm really not. Like, not once today have I thought, man, like, I can't believe this is happening because I know this is what I've wanted for so long and I'm just happy that it's finally happening and that we can do it in front of our loved ones, our family, and in front of God and everyone. So I, I love you so much and I can't wait to marry you. I will walk this world, will walk this world with you. I, Andy, take you, Ashley. I, Andy, take you, Ashley, to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife, and I do promise and covenant, I do promise and covenant, before God and these witnesses, before God and these witnesses, to be your loving and faithful husband, to be your loving and faithful husband, in plenty and in want, in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, until Jesus comes back or the Lord calls us home until Jesus comes back or the Lord calls us home. All right, Ashley, please repeat after me. I, Ashley, take you, Andy. I, Ashley, take you, Andy. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. And I do promise and covenant. And I do promise and covenant. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful wife. To be your loving and faithful wife. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Until Jesus comes back or the Lord calls us home. Until Jesus comes back or the Lord calls, calls us home. Whom therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace both now and in the life everlasting. Andy, you may kiss your bride. It is, it is my extreme pleasure to be the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Andrew Jacoby. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know how many people know his past. Uh, he's, a, he's a baseball player, and a few baseball players have some superstitions, and they make sure that they do everything the right way. And this one, actually, uh, he believes he broke some glass and had about seven years of bad luck. I will say, though, he had seven years of bad luck. He's made lots of bad decisions, just like probably all of us have. But he makes up for all those and then some, and definitely it looks like you have many, many more years of good luck. I'm very happy that Andy has found someone that will, that will give him his example to, to follow the rest of his days, and he can, he can stop watching us <laughs> and start watching Ashley. And, and he's already started to do that a little bit. He's, he's brought home some clothes that I've never, I never would have picked out. So, <laughs> so she dresses him now. That's very good. That's much better. And my wife dresses me, so we're good. So being a storyteller, I guess, for my job um, and watching y'all's story, I think has been the best story. Um, and I think it's a, tr it's a true blessing to see true love. And it makes everyone kind of inspired to fall in love. So, felicidades, uh, Andy y Ashley, y muchas, muchas felicidades y bendiciones. <laughs>